Is this thing on? <laughs> is it on? <laughs> One, two, three, push. Okay. Go. It's not gonna fit. Oh, still not gonna fit. You can watch this. Touch. <laughs> and touch. So we hit our first snag on this flooring. It's caught on this and ripped us a nice big hole. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So this afternoon, um, my goal, <laughs> I should always preface it by saying it's my goal because it seems like that with this renovation project, nothing ever goes according to plan. So the goal today is going to be to come into this back closet area and get rid of this rotted wood wall. We've got to get this fixed and I want to get this fixed before I start painting so that I can paint the paneling um, to match everything else. This is the next project for this afternoon. Let's see if I can't take it out in sections. There's definitely a lot of this wood. It's really super soft as I put my knife in here. I can just feel it. So. And there's still a spot that it's still wet, which means we're not fixed yet. So I didn't want to take this air cleaner box off, but I'm not going to have much of a choice because of where this sits mounted to the wall. So I should be able to just pull this clamp here. There we go. So I've got this box off. We'll set this to the side. We will cover up this uh, hose thing so we don't get any debris in here and we'll keep going on this mess of a water damaged wall in here. Why can't it ever be simple? Okay, so I got a belt sander. So now it's time to go ahead and sand this floor area and uh, kind of smooth it out before we put down the um, flooring. So good thing about these days is I've got plenty of masks around. So let's get to this. Oh man, oh man. It's always something. When it rains, it pours. Well, at least it did last night anyway. And that's when we figured out that these water leaks where we knew there was water damage still isn't fixed. But it's frustrating because I feel like we've not been able to accomplish like one solid thing. Like all we've done is like a little here, a little there. Okay, this over here, this over here versus like I wanted to, I wanted to have like painting done by today. And that's not even close to happening at the moment. I still have to wash the walls. I still have to mask off before I can start painting. And so now we're back to square one, diagnosing a water leak. And so what's my the timeline is getting really, really skewed at the moment because I wanted us to be able to be on the road in two weeks from now. Yeah. So we'll see. We've got brand new, a brand new dinette sitting in the garage from Rec Pro that we're super excited to get installed and show you guys. New lights that came in. We've got the, yeah, the lights that came in. Like, I've got so much now that it's like, let's put it in, but I can't because we're not like to the next step because then all of these other things keep happening that prevent us from moving on to the next step. So, so today, what are we doing? <sighs> We're diagnosing a water leak. And then, hopefully after getting said water leak diagnosed, I do want to at least try to get back in the back bedroom, get the walls washed back there, masked. And if I can have the back bedroom painted by end of day today, I will at least feel like we made progress in some area. 
So one thing that I always do, because for whatever reason I'm a messy painter, is wear some rubber gloves. It's like nervous, but not nervous. I'm just hoping that I've masked enough because that's my big concern is dripping on the carpet Okay, so I think I'm done with the bedroom painting, I think. I'm going to call Ben, because whenever I do painting, I always like to have somebody else put a second set of eyes on it when I think I'm done, just to make sure that I haven't looked over anything or missed any spots that I just didn't see that um, maybe I missed. So I'm gonna give Ben a call and have him come double check. So let's call Ben. He's inside editing. Hello? Hey, do you want to come out to the RV real fast? And I think I'm done with the bedroom, but just give me a second set of eyes real fast. Sure. Okay. I'll be right there. Okay, cool. We'll see what Ben thinks. Here he comes. Hey. Hey, how's it looking? It looks way brighter. So I think I'm done. Actually, I see a few spots in that corner I need to hit with the brush again. Wow. The hard thing is, is that there's just so many small nooks and crannies that you have to hit with a brush that you can't hit with a roller. But I mean, they just don't make rollers that are this big, right? So I'm done with painting the bedroom. Woohoo! Just uh, working on and reinstalling some of the outlets and things like that. And then uh, just to clean up, but went on pretty well. Um, some places that were a little bit more difficult to get into than others, but paint is done, masking's coming down, and uh, we're rocking and rolling in here. I'm so happy, it's brightened it up so much more, so couldn't be happier with the result. So now that I know where the leak is coming from, um, right along the side drip rails, right here, if you can see these rivets, right along the rail here. That's where it's coming from. So I'm going to clean it up with the mineral spirits here and put some clear silicone over top of each rivet so it's completely sealed. So we are really hoping in the next two days because it is the weekend. And so we've got the next couple of days to really focus 100% on this project here. The goal is to finish up the walls on the inside. So repairing the water damaged walls, painting the existing walls, doing the wallpaper on the walls. We're going to wallpaper, getting the new lights installed in the walls that need to go in the walls, installing the new flooring, installing the new dinette that we got from Rec Pro, which I'm stoked about this. And you guys will have to make sure that you keep watching because this is um, amazing. Sweet. Super awesome things that Rec Pro has. Getting that installed, reinstalling the couch on the slide. And if we can make it that far in the next two days, I will be a happy camper because then all we have left after that is building the bunks, which I'm anticipating that that will go very smoothly and then reinstalling the front seats. The, I love your optimism. I know. I'm just a very optimistic person. So that is the goal to get finished in the next two days. We know we might be putting in some late nights, but that's okay to get this thing moving because we are now T minus 14 days from when we want to be able to get back on the road. So a lot has to happen within the next 14 days. So we're finally making some progress in here, which is good. Got the back bedroom painted yesterday and then um, put in these touch lights, which super excited about how these work. So those are gonna go in here on this wall uh, once it's dry here in just a little bit. My next project is going to be putting the peel and stick backsplash in the kitchen area. So um, that's what I'm gonna start working on next. What I think is probably the most difficult of doing this, and it's not that it can't be done, it's just time consuming, is coming around like corners of this window that's under here. And then when you get to where 
you, you just have to like start playing Tetris <laughs> and cut it and fit it in, in different things. So I've got the main pieces done, which that's the easy part. It's just now kind of Tetrising the rest of it in. All right, so now that I have cut this board, what I'm going to do now is apply some liquid nails all along this wall and stick this up. What we used is this paneling that we got at Home Depot. It's like 10 bucks for the whole sheet, just so we could just paint over top of it. So this is completely a smooth surface. And so we're gonna go ahead and liquid nails it right up to the wall. Then afterwards paint it and it'll look great. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the liquid nails. I'm gonna start at the very bottom here and then I'm just gonna do a line up and down. Okay, so we got the piece of paneling in and now I am cutting this hole down here. <coughs> that is where the um, air intake is and that's where that will go. So I am going to just uh, cut that out. The liquid nails is sticking really well right here and we are just about done back here in the closet area. <sighs> All right, closet is done. We are done in this bedroom for the most part. The only thing that we'll need to do is go get the uh, closet doors, which they're just in the garage. So we'll slide those back in. Since we are not replacing flooring back here, we decided we will probably have that done professionally at some point down the line. The only thing left to do back here is to put a window covering on one window and then that's pretty much it. Our new mattress will be here tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got the new lights put in, got the film on the window back here, ran out. So I ordered some more from Amazon. So looks pretty good. We'll make sure we put a link in the description below to this window film, but I love how it turned out. It looks amazing from the outside. Got our touch lights put in, watch this, touch. <laughs> and touch. So those are nice and flush. It's painted. I just couldn't be happier right now with things that are finally moving forward and coming together. So um, I think we'll go get the closet doors and put them in just so that they don't get damaged with any of the other bustle around. And we're going to move forward to the uh, peel and stick wallpaper out front and uh, getting the last wall repaired out front and then flooring. So it is now, what time is it? It's 1.08. We're doing really good on time. I'd like to get all of this wrapped up before it gets dark. It's just easier to work in natural light with anything that you're doing. So we're gonna get back at it, but we just had to show you guys. We got something finished. Woohoo! Yay! All right, so Trinity is helping me get up all the staples from the floor before we lay down the, the wood um, laminate. So she is being a very big helper. Thanks. So today is a big day, I hope. Um, today should be the day we get our flooring in. But uh, before we can put our flooring in, a few things that we've got to finish up first. I stayed up really late last night and Ben did too, honestly, getting the backsplash in the kitchen installed. So that is done. Most of the painting's done. We have a few more walls to be painted, but we've got to just double check and test out our water leak repairs first. Yesterday I found yet yeah, some more water damage. We're pretty sure we knew where it's all coming from. Ben spent a ton of time yesterday sealing all that up. So we're gonna just prove out <laughs> our theory on that today, uh, repair those walls and uh, then paint those. We've got peel and stick wallpaper going on today. I'm really, really hopeful that by tonight, we've got flooring in, 
that we've got our new dinette from Rec Pro installed because all of that will mean that this next coming week I can work on making the bunks that we want to make. We still have window treatments to pick up so that is all on the list for today. So I've got my coffee in my favorite mug and uh, let's get to work. So with this being a little bit older RV, some of the areas that I masked off with painter's tape pulled off and I picked up these like wood touch up markers at Home Depot. Well, none of them are the right color. So oddly enough, I called in an expert and that is my daughter. So she went through her bin of markers and pens and colored pencils and lo and behold, the Crayola tan colored pencil is working amazing to touch these up. So let me show you just how well that this is working. So you can see right here, this is actually from the tape when I pulled the tape off, it actually pulled off some of this wood finish and this colored pencil is working great to blend this in. So it's not perfect, perfect. But let me tell you what, this is better than those wood markers were from Home Depot. And this will cover it up great. In fact, there's a spot right here that you can kind of maybe see. If I put you up super close, you can see it. But if you're far away, you'll, you'd never even know. And who's gonna get up that close, really? Like, really? So, only thing left to do back here is to put a window covering on one window. And then that's pretty much it. Our new mattress will be here tomorrow. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Got the new lights put in, got the film on the window back here, ran out, so I ordered some more from Amazon. So looks pretty good. We'll make sure we put a link in the description below to this window film, but I love how it turned out. It looks amazing from the outside. Got our touch lights put in, watch this. Touch. <laughs> and touch. So those are nice and flush. It's painted. I just couldn't be happier right now with things that are finally moving forward and coming together. We're going to move forward to the uh, peel and stick wallpaper out front and uh, getting the last wall repaired out front and then flooring. So and stick wallpaper people love it okay so we still don't have flooring in and it is now 4 15 in the afternoon we've got to get this flooring in today it's sitting out on our driveway um well it's still warm so we need to get that moving so we're gonna start with this so we can get that done and then hopefully get some flooring cut and start the install on that asap so we're gonna go do that right now Okay, this is looking sweet. What are we doing now? We are learning how to install sheet laminate and how to cut around these corners carefully. So in an effort to try to not have to patch anything in, the other thing is, is it's just like when you're on a slide, I feel like that it becomes more tricky, I guess. But wait, we're trying to cut around these corners. 
to get this sheet vinyl laid. And so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of trying to not nick my walls. I'm just kind of trying to go little by little. our first snag on this flooring um things were going pretty smoothly <laughs> as far as trying to cut it all in around all of the petals and just the little humps and bumps and curves and so last night when we were out here and we were making sure that where we were cutting it to go against the slide wasn't going to be a problem. We kind of did a little test where we brought the slide in a little bit, it caught on the flooring, so we knew we needed to trim it up. So we trimmed it up and went to go do a second test to make sure it wasn't gonna catch. Um, it came in great. So it came in, didn't appear to catch any of the flooring on the way in. Went to run it out and it caught on this and ripped us a nice big hole here. It holds a 10 year old boy. So there's three screws, one here, one here, and then one here. So super, super easy installation. Wow. 